everyone welcome back to my channel hi hi because i know you've been here before and you came back and like i'm like blushing or whatever so hello beautiful people of the internet it is your girl here emmy i'm your host clearly for today's mercury series series first before i go any further you know what to do you don't hit that subscribe button because if you're gonna come back and i know you're coming back why are you not subscribing because you know that helps me out right and after you subscribe if you scroll down a little bit more in the description box you will see an etsy link yes i said etsy link there are candles that are for sale it is the holiday season it is the winter i know you're feeling cold i know you're feeling the need to be cozied i know you're trying to set the mood for your lovers for your one night friends, okay? And what better way to do that with some lovely, beautifully scented, Emmy has picked out candles that are available for you for under $10. Help me out. Don't you see a girl out here trying to hustle? So, if self care is the vibe that you're looking for, Emmy can provide. Hit the link. Hit the Etsy link. Sweet Tart Candles are available in the link right below. Check them out. At least look at them. At least star the page. At least thumbs up this video. Come on, work with me here. I take the time out of my day and read you. All I'm asking is for a thumbs up, a subscribe, a click on my Etsy link. Okay, now that I got that out the way, the Mercury series, Mercury. If you don't know what Mercury represents, Mercury is the planet of thought, communication. She is always in retrograde. I'm sure you've heard of a Mercury retrograde by now, but Mercury, she rules Virgo and Gemini, okay? Both very thought-oriented and mental stimulating, requiring signs. So Mercury is the planet of communication. It rules the mind. It's how you internalize things, how you think, the way you talk, how you learn. So if you're trying to understand how a person thinks and how to communicate with them, then you want to take a look at their Mercury sign. Just a refresher, the sun is your ego. Your moon is your emotional state, how you feel, how you find comfort. Your rising sign is how you are perceived, how you come off, and the way you look. Your Venus sign is how you love. Mars is how you go about things, your action, your drive. Mercury is how you think. Okay, now that we got that out of the way, let's move into the next sign. Testing, testing, is this thing on? We are talking about Mercury in Leo. Hello. <laughs> Hello, okay, Leo, let's get into it. Uh, hey girl, hey, okay. Um, so Leo, fifth house, house of performance, all right? Y'all naturally know how to draw people to you. You speak in a very enthusiastic way. You have this confidence that also draws people to you. You speak in a very confident way, eloquent way. You probably like throwing in big words when you speak. You can be dramatic in the way you speak, probably tell great stories, very enthusiastic. You probably like are somebody that's very like animated when you speak, facial expressions, you know, talking with your hands, just really giving a whole like, this is how I'm talking to you and everything's in it, you know? And that could be one of the things that really just engages people to you as well. Like when you're talking and like one of the things that draws people to you is just the way you take up space is like drawing i guess is the word yes you're very enthusiastic you're very good at motivating people leos are extremely motivating you of course want to receive like fifth house romance theater admiration i would say as well so like in romance so you love to motivate people you're the sun you're ruled by the sun right so you just have this you shine bright there is no daytime without the sun so you have a way of motivating people you you want to be around good energy. You want to be around people who are playful. Um, fifth house is also like child, house of children. Yeah, house of children. So there is a childlike and like childlikeness to Leo. Um, they are very playful. They just want to be around people who kind of match that. They're not really into being around people who are Debbie Downers or like ne negative in the way they speak. Like you just want to be uplifted and by your community. You want to be uplifted, but you also do uplifting, which is one of the reasons that I would say Leos make great motivational speakers or just 
people in theater acting even yeah you like to give compliments you like to make people feel good um you like to receive that as well who doesn't you're passionate people and that is very clear in the way you speak it can be clear that you're passionate when you're talking about the things that you're passionate about but you're also just a passionate person like when you're talking about something you're passionate about you probably really nerd into it it is a fixated sign so you know a lot of, and you're very detail oriented so like you could be talking about um i had a manager that was a leo and he just like knew so much about wines and like you could you could see how like detail oriented a perfectionist of it he is and how like specific and the grape and the origin of the grape and then the fruit tones and da 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 da, da and like it's origin here but then this place did it and the the difference from here is because of this and the barrels they use and it's like it's like whoa like but the way he talks about it is so like engaging and i'm into it because like you could see that he's passionate about it and it's also like interesting it's not like and the groups are in here and, rah, rah, rah. and then it's like okay like now i'm tired if, if it was like that but because you have that enthusiasm it's like you you could really sell anything like you could really just yeah so also because you're such passionate people this the con of that could be that it's hard to hide what you're thinking you wear your thoughts on your face i guess um could be a con you know if you're trying to have poker face <laughs> you love having an audience like i was saying the house of theater performance so you enjoy you know talking talking about talking in front of other people these are very honest people they're very brave they're very loving i feel like everybody knows like the things i just kind of said about leo but i feel like people forget about the honesty and the loyalty that leos possess they love consistency they love talking with people they love socializing they are natural leaders as well are very playful people they probably like to crack jokes like to keep things lighthearted and like to have fun i would say that leo mercury's probably have a hard time having like serious conversations or like not getting to business it could be like getting to business but like think of like a kid and like okay now it's time to talk about something serious and they're just like sitting at their desk and they're just like mm, like falling asleep or like you know like they're just like they're really like not interested in this it can be like that like it's harmless but it's like they're just not into it depending on the rest of your chart but it could be difficult to have serious conversations they need like the bounce back so like i think what could help when you're trying to have a serious conversation with them is like maybe making it a bit more like engaging or like you know a little bit more like lively engaging so if you can make a serious conversation engaging and fun i, I don't think you would find that problem but i hope that resonated they're a fixed sign they're a fire sign but a fixed sign meaning that once their opinion is made it will not change which can also mean stubborn you're very stubborn on what you believe in and you might even push your ideas onto other people but at the same time you can also be very like convincing and like pushing your ideas on other people um, i would say like you can be very dramatic as well this could possibly be a con for a leo like you can when things aren't going your way it can be very dramatic it can be very like a kid having a tanner tanner tantrum whatever you call them like those fits where they like explosive fits just because you just know how to like communicate in a dramatic way of course when you're upset about something it would also be communicated in a dramatic way you know some other cons since we're talking about cons you could talk about yourself probably a lot because this mercury mercury is a planet of like thought and communication so you could of course somebody who's like an underdeveloped leo would probably be someone that's like very cocky like talking about yourself a lot you could be overly confident i don't want to say every leo has this like this is not what i'm trying to say but i just mean like if you're like an underdeveloped leo like you could be someone that was like it could be hard to think about other people because you're so like self-absorbed does that make sense like on an extreme level i already said stubborn it could be there could be a, p a level of being like people pleasers or like in like over committing to things just because like you want to keep people happy so it's like yeah like i'll go but you're like i don't want to fucking go because like you want to keep people happy especially the people that you care about but yeah i feel like it could be hard to be serious i think i already said that um because of like that child and child like energy that you have i think leos could be childish again it's like one of those like underdeveloped or over like you know those underdeveloped leo thing could be like somebody who's childish and not childlike you know that can be a fine line but that's just depending you know on a more extreme extreme level but yeah i think that's everything that i have for a leo in mercury comment down below mercury and leo comment down below if i forgot anything if it resonated with you thank you so much for watching this video i really appreciate you and i love you and i hope to see you in my next video 
and keep it.